I'll show you in this video how you can insert a line break in Apple Pages app. So it's super simple and I'll just jump right in this video so don't waste any seconds. So let's say here we have this uh, text and I'd like to add now a line break. I'm going to go to insert and then here we have line break, right? So I hope you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Insert and then a line break. Okay, and this just changed. So you add another text here. You can press enter, but now you might have this question why would you use a line break when you have a space or actually when you have enter? Because you press enter and then we'll just give a, we'll add like a line break. And uh, the answer is, uh, so the line break function, whatever you want to call it, it's just like it will insert a single line break without creating a new paragraph. And this keeps uh, the text within the same, the same paragraph style, but moves it to the next line. Now with enter key, this creates a new paragraph which usually includes extra space before or after the paragraph depending on documents formatting settings and um, now the ideal situation for entry key is when you want to create a distinct separation between different ideas sections and at the best usage for line break is ideal for situations where you want to start a new line without the additional spacing that typically comes with a new paragraph. So we can try again here. We have our text. We can click on here, subscribe, and I'll select here line break. We can click on, I mean, I don't click on subscribe. I click on, this is the text subscribe, but I click on insert and then I select line break. Okay. Let me copy and paste this. Let's say I want to click here. You can also press space. Uh, sorry, not space, enter. Or, depends now on your usage, you can select the line break. Okay. So, I hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.